All right, today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to identify the main operator in a statement that is represented only by symbols and capital letters, because that's an important skill to have. Now, what is the main operator? Well, I have this definition written here for you. The main operator is the operator that has as its scope everything else in the statement. Now, what does that mean? Well, first, what we're going to do is I have some examples, as you can see, of sentences that I just want to translate into symbols, um, just so we can have some practice with that. Like the main formula for doing well in this course is just practice, practice, practice. Do as many exercises in a textbook as you need to until you get the content. There's no other secret. It's just practice. So let's practice. Oh, and as you can see, at the end of each sentence, I wrote some capital letters, and those are supposed to stand for the components of each sentence, just so that way we're all in agreement for where these letters are coming from. All right, so we have, it is not the case that Alice went to the party They're using a capital A. So this is just going to be not A, tilde A, right? Because we're just negating Alice went to the party with a phrase, it is not the case that. All right, next one. Bob is a friend and Maria is a friend. We're using B and M. Okay, well, it looks like we're just going to have B dot A. Because dot, remember, is our conjunction operator. All right, what do we have next? Either Johnny likes soda or Frank does. Okay, so we're using the letters J and F. So we'll do, oh, and we have an or, so this is a disjunction. So we will use J or F. There you go. I will eat only if I am hungry. We're using E and H. I guess that's for eat and hungry. Looks like. We have a conditional statement, so we'll have E if E, then H. I will eat only if I'm hungry. Either Sally goes to school or her dad will be sad and her mom will be disappointed. It's kind of a sad example. Looks like we're using S, D, and M. Okay, we got three components instead of two. So either Sally goes to school or her dad will be sad and her mom will be disappointed. So it sounds like we have a conjunction and a disjunction. So here's what I'm going to do. So we have Sally's going to school or dad will be sad and her mom will be disappointed. Now, this actually isn't written correctly. When we have more than two um, symbols, capital letters, components, we need to separate our components by using parentheses, kind of like you would do in math with the order of operations. There's kind of a logical order when we look at this translation. And it's kind of hinted to us through the use of this comma right here. We're saying either Sally goes to school or her dad will be sad and her mom will be disappointed. So like the her dad will be sad and her mom will be disappointed are kind of one part of the disjunction and Sally going to school is the other part of the disjunction. So what we'll do is we'll separate D and M from S. And now in this case, F, the disjunction would actually be our main operator. Now let's look at the next one. If Johnny is bored and has finished his work, so look, we've got, we've got our little comma here now, then Johnny will go out with his friends. Okay, so it sounds like we've got a conditional and we have and, so we've got a conjunction. So what I'm saying is, if Johnny is bored and has finished his work. So it sounds like I need to be bored. I need to be bored and finished. Okay, so B and F. This is a conditional, right? So we're saying if I'm bored and finished, then I'll go out with my friends. So B, F, and G. B, F, G. Has anybody ever read The Big Friendly Giant? It's a great book. You should read that. All right. Now, those are all our examples. I just want to do some. You could do as many as you need. I just want to do some with you. Now we're going to talk about how to actually how actually to identify the main operator. All right, so identifying the main operator, it's kind of a simple process. It is a simple process. So if there are no parentheses, which would only be the case really if we have only two components or one component, the main operator will be the only operator or the one that is not a tilde. If there are parentheses, meaning that there are more than two components, um, or that's not the case, you know, we might be negating some other statement. Yeah, actually, let me write out another example where that's the case. We might have something like not A and B. So anyway, if there are parentheses, the main operator will be the one outside all parentheses 
or the one that is not the tilde. So let's look at these examples I have written down here and let's identify the main operator using this kind of definition, pseudo definition I wrote. So first, not a. Well, we have no parentheses, okay. So the main operator will be the only operator or the one that is not a tilde. Well, in this case, there's only one operator, it's the negation. So in this case, negation is our main operator. Cool. All right, now we have not a or b. So again, we have no parentheses, okay. So the main operator will be the only operator or the one that is not a tilde. So this is a case where we have two operators. We have the tilde and the disjunction, the wedge, right? So we want the one that is not a tilde. So in this case, the wedge is our main operator. This would be something like, it is not the case that Alice goes to the store or Barry does go to the store. I don't know, some random translation. All right, A, if and only if, B and C. So we have parentheses here. So if there are parentheses, the main operator will be the one outside all parentheses or the one that is not the tilde. Okay, well, this is the only operator outside of all our parentheses, if and only if, so that is our main operator. Now we have A, if, A or B, then not C. Okay, so we have parentheses. The main operator is the one outside all parentheses. Well, the one outside all parentheses, we have a horseshoe and a tilde. Um, so it'll be the one outside all parentheses or the one that is not the tilde. Okay, so the one that's not the tilde is the horseshoe. Our conditional is our main operator. If A or B, then not C. All right, what do we got here? We have not, not encompassing everything. So not, not, Spoiler alert, not is the main operator. It has the entire statement as its scope. Remember that initial definition I gave? Here, let's look at it. The main operator is the operator that has as its scope everything else in the statement. In this case, not has A and B or C in its scope, right? And this is the only operator that is outside all parentheses. So the negation is our main operator. Two more, we have A and B or C and D, our wedge is the only thing outside all the parentheses, so that's our main operator. And then here we have not A and B. Not is our operator outside of the parentheses, so not is our main operator. So there you go, it's really not that difficult. Again, practice, practice, practice. That is how you get good at logic. That's how you succeed in this course, is to get a textbook that you're learning from and just continue to practice and practice and practice. Um, but that's all I have for today. So if you made it to the end of this video, consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing. It would help me. But regardless, I hope that you learned something. Thank you.